paragraph 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.1, number 61. And here we were told that we had a fox population and it, was, it had this growth rate of 9% per year. And when you see that your, your growth rate is a proportion or a percentage of the previous proportion, right, 9% per year, so you grew 9% from the year before, anytime that's happening, if you see that kind of setup, you've got exponential growth. Whoa, I don't know what I just hit, but here we go. I'm going to say I have exponential, and I'm going to say growth here instead of decay because it looks like I am increasing, right? It says I've got a growth rate here. And as soon as you know that you have exponential growth, I'm going to make some kind of exponential model, a times b to the x, where a is my initial value and b is my growth rate. So let's see what other information they give us. So it says in 2012, here was my initial fox population. All right, and then it's asking me, what's my population going to be eight years later? So I'm going to call... Um, X years since 19, not 1912, the years since 2012. That's what I'm going to do. So I can see my first ordered pair. If I'm working with this, I have an ordered pair of 0, 23,900. Right? And really what I want to do is figure out what was the Y value when X was 8. And you might be saying, where are you getting this X equaling 8 number? Well, if 2012, if this is my base year, right, if this is year 0, then 2020, and we're here now, all right, that would mean x would equal 8 because this is quite literally 8 years after the year 2012. So if you ever are lucky enough to get the y-intercept, which I have right here, right, this was the ordered pair they gave me, then this number is always your a value. So at this point, I can go a little further in my model and say that a is 23,900 times b to the x. Oops, let me rewrite that, times b to the x. And you might say, well, they didn't give us b, but they, they did. This 9% is the key part of that. So your, your base, it's always starting from 1, and it's either going to be a little bit larger than 1 or a little bit smaller than 1, depending on if you have growth or decay. Now, because I have growth, I'm going to add my growth rate to 1, because 1 is always like equilibrium. If your base was 1, then your population would neither be growing nor decaying. And since ours is growing, our base has to be larger than one. So that's where I get my base is 1.09. So if I forward this problem, I'm, I'm actually, I'm there with my exponential model, all right? And so there's my exponential model. And to answer the question, hey, how many foxes do I have in the year 2020? Go ahead and plug in eight. So if I find f of eight, that's going to be 23,900 times 1.09 to the 8th. And when we plug that into our calculator, oops, excuse me, we're going to get 47,622 foxes. So that's where I got that number. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.